Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions. And in this video, we're gonna treat and remove a big yellow jacket nest that we found in a customer's basement. Now I know these customers well because I used to golf with a husband. Why don't I golf with them anymore? And how do we treat and remove this yellow jacket nest? Find out in this video. So the, the clients had called me and they had said, hey, we see some yellow jackets coming and going outside of the house where our main electric line comes in. And, uh, and their house is in Robazonia, Pennsylvania, which is in Berks County in southeastern Pennsylvania. So um, I asked them, my next question to them was, are you seeing any on the inside? And she says, yes, we are. And I said, okay. I said, more than likely it's in the wall or hopefully it's in the unfinished part of your basement underneath the insulation where we can easily get to it, treat it, and remove it. So as it turns out, it was in the basement. On Upon my initial uh, inspection here, I saw a bunch flying around by the insulation. So we're gonna get suited up and we're gonna treat and remove this yellow jacket nest. Now, when I said I used to golf with a guy, I used to be part of the Robazonia Golf League. It was a great league, still is a great league. And they golf every Monday night, cost like 20 bucks every week. And they shut the whole course down for us. It was awesome. The only stipulation was you had to live in Robazonia. Well, foolish me. I get married, have a family, buy a house, one town over in the roaring hills of Wernersville, and, uh, and as a result, I can't golf in the league anymore. I've tried, and I tried to get back into it, but they wouldn't let me. Now, this client here is actually the treasurer for the, for the golf league, and I was gonna maybe leave the nest there or use it as some sort of leverage uh, to get myself back in, but my professionalism took over and I decided just to treat and remove the yellow jacket nest for this nice family here. So the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is we're gonna suit up. I moved a piece of the insulation over so that I could see where the actual nest was. Now I can't actually see the nest yet because there's still insulation there. So we're gonna remove some more pieces. And what I'm doing is I'm using an aerosolized insecticide called PTPI, which if you've seen any of our other Yellow Jacket or Hornet videos, you'll know is my absolute favorite go-to quick knockdown kill insecticide for stinging insects. Um, and the reason why I like it so much is that it, number one, it's a quick kill which is very important when you're working this close with that many stinging insects, like yellow jackets, hornets, bees, and wasps. Um, the other thing I like about it is, especially for a nook and cranny like underneath this floor joist, is that it really permeates that space and it gives us a good quick kill and it permeates and kind of gives us a total kill, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you'll see every once in a while, I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna treat uh, by this light bulb here. And the reason for that is, is that as the yellow jackets are coming out, most of them are dying and they're, they're landing there. We're gonna get all that cleaned up at the end. But in the meantime, some of them think that that's a way out, right? To them, that's a light source, that's a window, that's the sun, who knows what they think, but they think that's a way out. So they're gonna congregate towards that light. So every once in a while, I'm gonna kind of just hit it with a spritz over there just to keep them down. And plus they're right by my face and, and no one likes that, even me as a professional. So um, we're gonna treat that little area there and then we're gonna keep exposing more of the nest here. Now this treatment's taking place at the end of August. And from August through September, this is when the yellow jackets and really any of the stinging insects, the hornets, the bees, the wasps, this is when their population is starting to really explode. So folks often ask me, well, how long has this been going on? Years? No, no, these guys just started out this spring, but you didn't notice it. It started off as one coming and going out of the house and you may never have noticed it. But this time of year, late summer, you're gonna see constant activity on the outside. And as a result, we're gonna see activity on the inside just because their numbers are so great. So we're gonna, as part of our general process here, we're gonna treat and remove this nest. And then on the outside, we're gonna apply a long-term residual dust into the space where the main electric was coming into the house. And that's gonna give us some good lasting protection, some residual, some longevity. Um, because as a result of uh, us removing the nest here, is that the, there's always gonna be stragglers, always workers working outside of the nest, coming back, gathering resources, and coming back to bring it to the nest. Well, after our treatment today, we've removed the nest. We've taken their home and we've annihilated it. So we wanna just chemically block those from coming back into the house. Now, if we did nothing other than just treat and remove the nest, would those stragglers be able to rebuild? No, they could not. The queen's dead, the nest is dead, the workers are dead. So this is a very small percentage of them. They would die off anyway without having the ability to rebuild. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna accelerate that process. So I don't show it in the video here, but I'm gonna apply an insecticidal dust into the little gap where the main electric was coming into the house. And then over the outside of that area, I'm gonna apply a liquid insecticide. So we're gonna have some good residual inside of that wall void and also on the outside. So we're just chemically blocking them 
it's going to kill them off in a day or two, but it just accelerates that process and it allows the homeowner to use their property again. Now, in this case, where that homeowner saw these yellow jackets originally was a nice plant that they planted for their, uh, for their, their pet that just passed away. Now, this summer we have got like zero rain in, in, in Berks County in Pennsylvania. So she's been out there watering it and, and doing a nice memorial for their pet. And that's when she started noticing these yellow jackets. So that's when they called us. Uh, well, I shouldn't say right away. What they did is they waited until uh, until they were in the house, right? And that's usually what happens. And then uh, and then they call us and we're able to come out and, and obviously treat and remove it. Um, so what I'm doing now is we're just going to vacuum everything up. I use a battery-powered Milwaukee backpack vacuum. Um, and I'm going to use that to get all of the dead yellow jackets, any of the alive ones that are kind of hanging around that light. I just suck them right up with my vacuum. And we're just going to leave that area nice cleaned up for them so that anybody that wants to do work in there, use that storage area, whatever, is not just uh, walking through a landmine of dead yellow jackets. I wouldn't want somebody to do that to my house. So obviously we don't do that for our clients. So we're just going to get everything cleaned up for them then. So when I leave, the outside's treated, the inside, the nest is treated and removed and cleaned up and we're good to go. So this was a great example of a yellow jacket nest inside of a house that we were able to treat and remove without having to open up any walls or ceilings. As you've watched many of our other videos, you'll see us cutting and opening up walls and ceilings. But in this case, that was unnecessary. We were able just to move some insulation, go in there and treat and remove the nest. So if you have yellow jackets, hornets, bees, wasps, any kind of pest, whether it's four-legged or six-legged, call Prudential Pest Solutions or text us at 484-401-4361. We service all of Berks County, Chester County, and southeastern Pennsylvania.